What's poppin' dogs? Mr. Allen here with some ACT prep. I got four dope geometry problems coming your way that you see on the screen here, and they all deal with angle relationships, which means I gotta remember that there's 180 degrees for all three angles in a triangle, and parallel lines, transversals, those angle relationships are also going to come into play. So let's get started with number 11 at the top left. In the figure below, angle BAC measures 35 degrees, angle ABC measures 115 degrees, and points BC and D are collinear. That just means that they lie on the same line. What's the measure of angle ACD? So let's mark that. That is referred to as my exterior angle or an exterior angle of the triangle. And if you remember something from geometry, it is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles, the ones that are further from it. So if I add up 115 and the 35, I end up with 150 degrees, bingo, bingo, done, the answer is E. But not everybody is going to remember that specific property there. So there's another way to work through that, all right? I know there's 180 degrees in a triangle. So if I add those two up, which we've already done, is 150 degrees. And if I take 150 and I subtract it from 180, so 180 minus 150, I end up with 30 degrees, which is this angle right here. Let me make that three a little bit better for you. Three, boom, 30 degrees. Now, what else do I know? Well, we got a straight line right here in BD. So that's going to all equal 180 degrees. So if I take 180 minus 30, that's going to give me 150 degrees. Same answer. I just took the longer road there. But hey, as long as you're getting it right, that's what matters. All right. So maybe you'll remember that exterior angle and the two remote interior angle thing when you get to the test. If not, 180 degrees in a triangle will never fail you. All right. Next one. In the figure below, lines L and M are tangent to the circle at points B and D. Now, tangent means that it just touches at that one spot, points B and D. Points A and C are on the circle, okay? And that might seem insignificant, but it actually does matter because this quadrilateral is inscribed in the circle. All four vertices lie on the circle, okay? And that means that my opposite angles, like A and C, are supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. B and D, same dealio. They're going to add up to 180 degrees, and that can come into play. Now, the measure of angle ABC is 95 degrees, and the measure of angle BCD is 85 degrees. The question is, the lines in which of the following pairs of lines are necessarily parallel? I feel like they could have worded that a little less confusing. But anyways, is it L and M, A, B, and D, C, A, D, and B, C, or any combination of those, it looks like, in choices D and E. So it could be all of them. Who knows? Well, let's, let's take a look. And I'm just going to go with the given information currently, and I'm going to pop my ruler on there. Let's zoom in a bit. Um, I'm going to look at AB, okay, AB right here, let me draw the line, and, oops, let me a little too close, and then let's look at 80, or this one here, right here, DC with an 85 degree angle. Okay, so we're questioning whether or not these two lines are parallel. Well, let's take a transversal here, and let's do it with the angles that I do know some information about. So I'll draw this guy in, boom, lovely. And uh, what kind of angles are the 95 and the 85? Those are same side interior angles. And if they're supplementary, then the lines are parallel, right? Alternate exterior, alternate interior, and corresponding, it's if they're congruent, then they're parallel. But same side interior and same side exterior, like if we knew this angle and this angle, add up to 180, or the interiors, the ones that we actually do have, then we would know that those lines are parallel. Well, 95 plus 85, that is most definitely 180 degrees. Lovely. So I know right now for sure that AB and DC are parallel. What about the other ones? Well, remember the circle and the opposite angles being, or the circle, the quadrilateral, and the opposite angles being supplementary to each other? Let's check that idea out. So back in here, um, across from 85 is angle A. That's going to be 95 degrees, 95 plus 85 is 180. And then across from the 95, the angle B1, that's angle D, that's 85 degrees. And the question now is AD. I'm looking at AD and BC. Now, they obviously do not look to be parallel whatsoever, but we can't necessarily judge it based off of that um, because not every drawing is to scale. They're oftentimes to scale, but they're not always. Um, and for this one, well, if I take a transversal here, although, you know, we got 85 and 85, those guys are congruent, right? That's not the property. If the same side interior angles are supplementary, then we have parallel lines. But if they're congruent, unless they're both 90, not going to be parallel lines. 
85 plus 85 adds up to what? 170, not 180. So we know for sure that it's not these guys. Cool? All right, now, what about L and M? Because I've avoided that one so far. What about L and M? Well, if I draw those in, and let's see if we have any information like surrounding those two lines, because I feel like there's not really a whole lot of information other than the whole tangent thing. Um, so let's see here. Draw that in. Whoop. Boom, okay. Well, the tangency aspect, if I knew where my center was, let's say the center is right here, um, a radius drawn to the point of tangency is going to be a right angle, but I don't know if there's like, if, if it were like a diameter that it ran through right here, right? If this went right through the center and it was a diameter, then we'd be good, but I don't know at what angle those are. They're right angles, but they could be anywhere on the circle. So there's really not enough information here on this one to tell us uh, that those two lines would be parallel. So I'm gonna eliminate L and M being parallel because we just don't know for sure. Yes, they're tangent to the circle, but I mean, that could have put L and M, the line could have been over here and whoa, there we go, that's better. It could have been right there and tangent to the circle and just move the quadrilateral around. So I'm gonna go with only A, B and D, C. So it looks like it's cho uh, choice B here, two only. Lovely. It's fantastic. All right, let's move on to the next one. In the figure below, A, D, C, and E are collinear. As we know, that means they lie on the same line. A, D, B, D, and B, C are all the same length. And those are actually marked on there with the congruent mark. Um, and the angle measure of angle A, B, D is marked, which is 25 degrees. What is the degree measure of angle B, C, E? So they have it marked over here with the question mark. I'll put it in pink right there so it really pops. Um, let's see what we're working with. Well, those, although we're talking about angles here, those congruent segments actually play a key role because we have isosceles triangles, meaning two legs are congruent, which means two base angles are also congruent. So while this one here, and I'll do it in a, a bright green, this one's 25, this is also 25 degrees. Ah, okay, well, what else can I do with that? Well, we have already talked about how the uh, sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, right? So 25 plus 25, that equals 50 degrees, and 180 minus 50 is 130. Whoop. It's a terrible three. I'm, I'm bad with my threes, man. 130. So that's this angle right here, which means that the guy next to it, this one right here, is 50 degrees. Actually, let me go to a different color here since we're jumping into another triangle. So we'll go 50 degrees for this guy. And you also might be thinking like, oh wait, isn't that, that that's an exterior angle. Yes, from the triangle ABD, that 50 degrees is an exterior angle of that triangle. So it's equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles, which are 25 and 25. Not everybody's gonna see it like that right off the bat. So honestly, going through the 180 degrees in a triangle, it'll take two seconds longer, but hopefully you'll remember it, okay? So that angle's 50, and don't we have, oh yeah, we got congruent sides once again, which means that this angle right here is going to be 50 as well. Ooh, and we have a straight line right now. We have a straight line in this guy right here. So we have 180 degrees. So 180 minus that 50 is gonna give me 130 degrees. Beautiful, which is choice J. Gotta make sure you actually circle it. Bubble it, don't just circle it in your work there. We got 130 degrees, worked all the way through those triangles there. So know your isosceles triangles, your congruent angles from that, uh, super duper helpful. All right, one more. In the figure below, A, B, C, D is a trapezoid. Just a regular old trapezoid, which means I have one pair of parallel bases. It looks like it's B, C, and A, D. E lies on A, D. It's a typo S -A or ACT, right? There should be little arrows on the A, D here because otherwise it's just a segment. Uh, angle and angle measures are as marked. What is the measure of angle B, D, C? So I'm looking for B, D, C, which is this guy with the question mark. I'll mark it in blue so it stands out. Okay, well, hmm. We did mention the parallel lines, right? So let me go here at zero degrees. I'm gonna mark this line here so we can take a closer look. And this one right here, these are my two parallel bases okay so those guys are parallel do i have a transversal that i could use there's actually three different transversals i can use but the one i want to use is going to be this guy right here which looks like it's actually look at that it's 30 degrees they drew this one perhaps 
slightly to scale. Okay. So that's at a 30 degree angle. Ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. This guy right here at 30 is alternate interior to this one, which is then 30 as well. And I also nailed that three. I did a great job on the three. I'm very excited about that. So that's 30 degrees. We've got the 105. Oh boy, here we go. Check this out. Check it out. We have a straight line, right? I'm going to highlight that guy in orange. Okay, that's a straight line right there, which is 180 degrees. So 30 plus, we'll call it X, plus 105 is equal to 180. So we get X plus 135 equals 180. Subtract the 135, and I get 45 degrees. Choice K is my answer there. So we brought in the parallel lines, transversals, alternate interior angles. That was the relationship that we used there. Remember, there's also corresponding angles are congruent and alternate exterior angles are congruent. So different angle relationships. I'll be sure to do some other videos as well that highlight the different ones as I see them. Otherwise, I hope those four problems helped you guys out. I got plenty more geometry and also some algebra coming your way in these videos. So stick around, check them out, and uh, good luck studying. Crush it on the ACT.